Hey guys, I'm a huge Storm from X-Men fan and I thought it'd be fun to shoot a quick tutorial on getting her look for Halloween. I love the X-Men. I used to watch this show like every Saturday morning with my brother and afterwards we'd play Mario Kart. We were nerds, but it was fun, fun time. So we're just gonna get right into it. So I've already based my brows with glue because Storm's brows are very severe and they kind of have an extreme arch. So I just wanted to erase my brow shape and recreate hers. So I've outlined with the brown liner and I redefined it with the black liner. So now I'm just gonna clean up my shape with a concealer that's two shades lighter than my skin tone from the Graftobian palette. And I'm also going to take that color down to my eyelid so that I can also define my crease even easier with a brown pencil. You'll probably see me glancing down a lot and I'm just looking at the inspiration picture. Storm has beautiful eyes so in the picture it actually looks like she has kind of like a wing going on like a, an extended eye. Her eyes are almond shaped but it does look like she wears a natural brown smoky eye. So I'm going to extend my wing with the black cream base and then I'm going to start defining my crease with a reddish brown eyeshadow. So I'm just blending it out with a fluffy crease brush. So even though she has that dramatic wing, she does have a neutral lid so I'm just lightly applying a, a light brown eyeshadow to my lid. And I'm deepening up my crease with a darker brown eyeshadow. Okay so I'm just going to continue to blend out the crease. Now I'm setting the cream liner with the matte black eyeshadow. And I'm taking whatever's left on my brush, the black that's left on my brush, to deepen my inner corners. And then I'm just blending everything out. Okay, so now I'm just taking a brown, uh, a brown eyeshadow and I'm smudging it underneath my eye just to give a sort of blown out effect. I'm also going to deepen the color with the black. Okay, my lashes and mascara has already been applied off camera and now I'm using this really awesome foundation by Becca Cosmetics. I think it's been discontinued, but it's very sheer. It's a stick foundation and the color I'm using is in molasses, which is the perfect, perfect color for my skin tone. Now I'm applying my concealer. The concealer is by Clinique. It's in the darkest shade. And I'm taking the concealer up towards my nose, like up higher up my nose than I normally would, just to have a more angular feature for Storm. And then I'm also taking it down the bridge of my nose. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just blend everything out. And I'm chiseling out my cheekbones and my nose with a dark brown from that same Graftobian palette. And so I'm just going to smooth everything out and set the cream products with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm contouring with a brown eyeshadow, just a grayish brown eyeshadow bringing it up towards my forehead and down my cheekbones and also along my jawbone and um, now I'm just going to go ahead and pat everything in and uh, blend the, the translucent powder away. And we're losing sunlight! Okay, okay, we're back. On my cheeks, I'm applying the La Femme blush in Satin Rose. Um, so now I'm just going to outline my lips. I'm using a dark brown lip liner from Mika K called Coco and a NYX lip liner in soft brown. And then I'm filling in my lips with ColourPop matte lip color in Kapow. And now we're finally onto the fun part or the other fun part. Um, so I decided to actually do body paint and I'm using a wet and wild cream color paint that I picked up years ago. I'm finally putting it to use. Um, this one is in gold. So I'm just outlining the shape of Storm's costume. From the image, the top part of her costume is outlined in gold, so that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going in with a white cream color, just detailing the top part of her suit. I'm also using grays, and now I'm filling in the rest of her suit with, with the black cream color. I love Storm. I feel like if anybody should replay her, wouldn't it be cool if they were to recast her? 
and actually do it the right way with the right actor like i don't know maybe lupita lupita would be good in this role or even like i love and bushy Wright. do y'all remember her i haven't seen her in anything lately but she is so gorgeous and i would think she's i think she would be perfect for this role or even i'm probably the only one who cares about this but nona gay she was in um what was she in the matrix i just feel like somebody who's strong like a strong woman would do aurora monroe justice in this role so anyways guys just off track but <laughs> back on track um so i'm just just adding more details with the gray for depth in the suit and then now i'm, I'm outlining the circular patch that all the x-men characters have Again, adding in more depth in the X's, um, filling out the rest of the suit with the gold and just, um, yeah, just filling it in and trying to neaten it up. It's kind of messy. It's, it's a little difficult painting yourself, guys. It's actually kind of, it's a little hard, but it's fun. So we are almost done here. I'm just going in and filling in the last bits of exposed flesh with a black cream paint. And I think we are done. My wig is from Utra and it's called Irene and I used the High Beams Intense Spray in Silver to color the hair. I made this dopey headpiece that I wanted to wear but I didn't like it so yeah. But there you have it. So what do you guys think? I'm really looking forward to doing even more beauty tutorials, so stay tuned for that guys. My length retention video is also coming up soon, so just hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook with your questions. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.